with the television shows and stuff that are out there, it gives people so much misinformation, and yeah. uh, I don't want them to watch what we do and say, um, you know, that what we do is boring or not as exciting as what they're used to and right. that kind of stuff. I mean, they need to understand that that's like way over dramatized. I'm gonna stay away from. I mean, I happen to have knowledge. I mean, I'm privy to as far as uh, some of them doing some fake shit that right. you know my clients have told me on investigations. I'm not gonna throw anybody. I'm not gonna bad mouth anybody. No, I don't want to get into the negative shit. You know what we do. The reason why we're doing it, you know, so conversational is um, to try to build that rapport with the spirits, which a lot of people freak out about. And then the fact that we actually sleep in the locations and stuff like that, people freak out about that. But I always think that that's safe to do as long as, like, we're setting up the investigation right. We're going in there, you know, from a respective perspective, respective yeah. perspective. Because, man, I mean, I honestly think that if we went in and did shit like they do on TV, if we went in antagonistic and stuff, I mean, I think that's why they have to fake so much stuff. It's right. because they go in and the spirits are like, fuck you, and don't interact with them. Whereas we go in from a respectful standpoint, you know, and I say, hey, man, look, we're here as your friend. We want to hear who you are, what you have to say, what your message is. It's amazing. 80, 90% of the time we get stuff. I think I'll be bigger in the afterlife than the conscious life. So that's what I think.